Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Russia launched another massive missile and drone attack on Ukraine today on May the 8th, 2024. They attacked seven oblasts and attacked um, energy infrastructure plus airfields. I have here about seven articles. I have pictures of what kind of airplanes the Russians used, what kind of missiles they used, the locations where uh, these airplanes took off and the targets they hit. So let's start with Associated Press. Russia launches a massive missile and drone attack on Ukraine's energy facilities. Russia forces unleashed a nighttime barrage of more than 50 cruise missiles and explosive drones at Ukraine's power grid Wednesday, targeting a wide area in the President Volodymyr Zelensky called a massive attack. Okay, I'm not gonna go over this little thing here. We're gonna go to the next article, Ukraine form. Russia launches over 50 missiles, more than 20 Shaheds at Ukraine. I tell you exactly, there were 55 and 21. 55 missiles, 21 Shahed. So over 50 missiles and more than 20 Shahed drones targeted infrastructure in Lviv, Vinitsia, Kiev, Poltava, Kirohovrad, Zaporozhia and ivano frankivsk regions. So let's see where these guys are located. So Lviv or Lvov right here, where by Poland. This is going to become Poland, I predict that. At one point, Ivano Frankivsk here, then you got Vinitsia, uh, Kiev, this is uh, Kirovohrad here, uh, Poltava, Zaporozhia. So these are the locations where the Russians hit with their missiles. All right, this one. Zelensky calls Putin a Nazi after massive Russian attack on victory over Nazism Day. Well, well, why don't you go and look in the mirror from time to time, my boy. So again, they tell us about the same information. Lviv, Vinitsia, Kiev, Poltava, Kirovo, Hrad, Zaporozhia, and Ivano, Kravko, uh, Frankivsk, not Krakow, uh, Krakowia yet. Next, Ukraine form. Air defense forces shut down 59 Russian missiles, drones overnight. Isn't that fantastic? They say that uh, <clears throat> they destroyed 59. Okay, and here is the evidence. You see all of them? Just for you, right there. This is the evidence. You can see them, you see they're all damaged over there. So this is the evidence. And uh, in total, the enemy employed 55 missiles and 21 attack drones, including, and now we start with what these guys used from where. A KH-47M2 Kinzhal air ballistic missile. Now Kinzhals, as far as I remember, and I know they're launched from a MiG-31K, launched from Tambov region. So let's see the MiG first. Here it is. This is the MiG and, uh, MiG and that is a Kinzhal, they say. So this is one. And we're going to go to this map to see where Tambov is, which is in the north east of Ukraine. It's right here from this region. From this region, this guy showed up with that thing underneath right there, Tambov, and attacked the area I already mentioned. Second, two Iskander M ballistic missiles from the temporary occupied Crimea. Crimea is in the south of Ukraine, so they were launched from here, the Iskander M. Again, they can carry nuclear warheads, as can the Kinzhal. Next. Four caliber cruise missiles from the Black Sea. They had a uh, <coughs> warship on standby and it seems like that launched four caliber cruise missiles from the Black Sea, obviously from this area here. Next. 45, 45 KH-101, KH-55 cruise missiles launched by 295MS strategic aviation aircraft from Saratov region and Caspian Sea water area. So Tupel 2 is right here. Tupelev, right? And a beautiful uh, Suhoi, I'm guessing is there. I don't even know if that's a, yeah, I think it's a Suhoi. So here is the 295 strategic bomber and it flew from Engels 2 air base located in Saratov uh, region. Uh, over there you can see some beautiful and we're gonna show it from far, far away. This is Volga River. And then we have Stalingrad 
or Volvograd now. Here is the Caspian Sea, Here's, here is the Black Sea, and here is the Sea of Azov. This is you, as you, Ukraine used to be. So from here, they launched, went down here to the Caspian Sea and psht, launched it over there. So remember, these guys came from this location here. This is Romania, this is Ukraine. Next. An Iskander K cruise missiles from Crimea. I showed where Crimea is. Two KH-59, KH-69 guided air missiles from the temporary captured part of Zaporozhia region. So these two air missiles were from Zaporozhia region, which is on top of the Sea of Azov. This is Sea of Azov. North of it is Zaporozhia. Ready? So they were launched from here somewhere. Next. Then we have 21 attack UAVs and Shahed 131-136 type from Primorsko-Aktarsk region, Kursk and Kursk region. So Primorsko-Aktarsk, I'm going to show you both locations. Since we are here at the Sea of Azov, Primorsko-Aktarsk Tarsk is right here where my strong hand is located, exactly here. From this area, they launched um, Shahed's, uh, maybe like this is better. From here, went up there. And then we got Kursk. <coughs> Kursk region is this one right here, where that famous uh, tank battle occurred between the Germans and the Soviets. Let's go back to this fighter aircraft, enter aircraft warfare units of the Ukrainian Air Force, mobile air defense groups and electronic warfare units were involved in repelling the massive attack. Okay, and we got this article here and we find out how great these guys were. Right, Ukraine form, Ukrainian air defense forces shut down all, all air targets near Kiev. That is, send the Patriot because they destroy all of them but the israeli military is not employing patriot systems anymore because they suck they said they're not satisfied with them so what they do they retire them now are they going to send them to ukraine possibly do they tell the truth uh, probably not why we all lie sometimes and i'm guaranteeing these guys are just doing what uh, it fits them so either they're not good and the uh, israeli forces um, discard them like garbage or they're good, but they say, no, they're not good. Give them to Ukraine and Ukraine could defend, defend all its uh, you know, territory with them. I don't know. Maybe they are good or maybe they are bad. Regardless, they're going to end up probably in Ukraine. Remember when the Scud missiles were launched in uh, the first uh, Iraq garbage with uh, Saddam Hussein, they hit about 5% or something like this of the incoming Scud. Scud Scud, 5%. There were about 40 some uh, missiles the uh, Iraqis sent, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, these guys, if they hit any with the Patriot systems, then, and they were the fantastic then. So, technology evolved on both sides, not only in this, uh, this one. So, anyway, so let's see what else these guys say. Another missile strike on peaceful cities. We know that it was about the uh, military infrastructure, but hey, they say whatever they want. Correct? Correct. So this is the latest missile attack on uh, the Ukrainian infrastructure. I will make after this another video with what targets exactly the Russians uh, destroyed. They destroyed a uh, an airfield, a um, Ukrainian airfield, where the F-16s will be delivered. The Ukrainians also claim that. Uh, the Russians claim that. The Ukrainians are kind of like... Um, and they destroyed three thermoelectric um, facilities in Ukraine. They damaged them in this attack. So, uh, that's for the next video right after this one. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.